Hi, my name is Marcus and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to download the DJI flight records from the DJI Go 4 app on your Android phone or tablet to your Windows PC. The first thing you need to do is connect one end of a USB cable to your Windows PC and then connect the other end of the USB cable to your Android phone or tablet. Next, log into your phone or tablet if it's locked. Next, check the notifications area of the phone and make sure that the USB mode is set for USB file transfer. Once you do that in Windows, you should see your phone appear in Explorer. For example, on the screen right here, we can see my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G has been detected. Now we're just going to go ahead and double click that. Next, we see a folder called internal storage. We'll double click on that as well. And then here we have a folder called DJI. So we're gonna go into the DJI folder, then select dji.go.v4, that's the folder containing the flight records. And then go to the flight record folder and select that. And then here we see the only flight record I have on my phone. So you might have a variety of different flight records that all have a date. This one occurred on 9-7 of 2022. So all we need to do is go ahead and select copy and then save that over somewhere on our PC. For example, I will go to my desktop and select paste. And that's it. We've transferred the file from our DJI Go 4 app on the Android tablet or phone to our Windows PC for safekeeping. That way we can review it later or maybe we need to send this off to DJI support or perhaps we want to provide it to somebody on a DJI forum because perhaps in this flight I might have crashed my drone or had some sort of weird incident occur. And I just want to have peers review this log or DJI review the log to find out exactly what happened. Um, it's more likely you'll get your peers to review this log on the DJI forum. Less likely that DJI probably would even care at this point on the DJI Go 4 app on these older drones that are using that. But if they ask you, this is how you download the file. Another interesting thing that you can do is go to a website that is called phantomhelp.com. They have a log viewer, so you can upload the log file to them by selecting I'm not a robot and then selecting browse then selecting DJI flight record that you want to upload then select open and then next select upload log so the web address is phantomhelp.com slash log viewer slash upload now this will take a few seconds to upload but once it does we can review some of the data of this specific flight on our Windows PC via the use of this website, which will interpret the data within the file. Once the flight record has been uploaded, you'll see the screen where you can copy the URL and share it with others. So perhaps you just wanna share this flight that you took with one of your friends or family. That might be another reason you download this flight log and then send somebody a link. Now keep in mind, this link is temporary. It's not gonna stay here forever. So make sure to keep the original file. So we'll go ahead and select copy URL and then we could email that off to somebody. Once you've done that, go ahead and select the X for close. And then here we can see a flight record. This is all the data contained inside of the file. It indicates various messages of different events, like when the takeoff occurred, when landing occurred, whether there was some sort of issue or incident within the flight. On the top, we can see this green dot to the far left. We can actually scroll through this. And as we scroll through, it scrolls down the flight logs. Also note over here to the right, we have two boxes that represent the left stick input and the right stick input. So as we're going along in this log, we see the arrow indicating where the specific drone was at at the time of this flight log. And we can see what is occurring in terms of stick input throughout the entire course of this flight. So this is a tool you might consider using on the flight log or sharing with your friends or peers so they can indicate what happened during your flight or just observe your flight record. If this is helpful to you, please give this video a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you come back and check out some of my other YouTube videos.